guys that's the Sanjin mod 12.1 installation review so in this part of the video I will show you what you should download and what where you should place it and um, uh, you'll see pretty much so yeah so these are our files which you need looks crazy but um, these files here I have actually put them to um, for shared so yeah you get the link just here yep so yeah these are files are in one li link so yeah you see it's huge now I'll show you what should you do with everything so let's start first this thing you extract it is the stock ROM oh yeah that's the Sanjin mod 11 and the gaps put it in the SD card and install them when you end with other things so yeah, that's the SP Flash tools so yeah I've already opened it I don't need that um so that, yeah that, these are my settings for my upgrade um that's here and the options the idea we check some without battery high speed nothing new so this here is the auto based actually let's start from the beginning so yeah that, that's the driver which you need to install so first you should connect your phone to the PC with the USB that's I mean with the battery it will show the battery logo here and then on device manager um, so yeah I'll go to the device manager and here you should click um, see the high-end devices and here you should get this but right now the phone is turned off so yeah there's no point of, you won't see it and you should just click on this or it's, it should be somewhere there and update driver and click the desktop so yeah uh, just one important thing if you if it shows you some kind of error like driver sound thing, things and you can install the driver something like that try on another PC so right now I'm using Windows 10 Pro but you can do this on Windows 7 too oh yeah one more important thing I almost forgot about that so on the SP Flash tools if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 8 you should right click on it and run it in comparability mode of Windows 7 as you can see or it won't be able to flash and you most likely fuck up your phone and get scared but don't worry about this I already fucked it fucked it up like four times and it's still working fine so let's continue so yeah that, that the auto update uh, song no actually that's still not in the beginning again so first when you flash the ROM you should root it with king root um, here is the stoop you don't have viruses so don't worry so after you root it here's some apps I think so that's a root browser because you don't have working Wi-Fi and you can't download it from Google Play that's the um, mobile uncle tools um, yeah so after all you should after you root it you should fl flash this it will give you probably an error or something like this or just restart the system after you flash it no matter what happens then um, in, from the root browser you should go to the system build prop and here um, actually it wasn't for PDA um, I'll show you you can see this um, dot update and it sh there should be something like this um, and you should remain and rename it to this after you do this um, just go to the mobile uncle tools and for the recovery then everything will work fine with the recovery I mean so after that 
um, forge the ROM and the gaps and this file it's both from MTP I don't know what it does but I think it improves something or I don't know it's kind of it's a bug fixer or something like that so after that you're almost gone but the camera and the audio won't work unless you do this let me show you So just let me focus properly. Yes, just like this. So go to the root browser. Again, you should put out the um, these files, these three files in the SD card. So yeah, jump to the SD card, internal memory. It's in this room. It's internal memory. So yeah. So here we go, you get these lips. So you should click multi set and copy all the files. So yeah, you, you actually usually are supposed to do this um, one by one, but I um, accidentally di um, let's say fuck the, fuck fuck them up. So yeah. I, had let out them so that's why I pass them both them three so yeah pay them here now check the permissions hmm. and here you go that's the first file permissions so yeah what are the other permissions we try to create there Okay, so yeah, look at that, read, write, read, read, that's it. So right now it's the same as the other files, it should be like that. The next file. Here is it, permissions, same. So in the final file, here is it, permissions, yep, so yeah guys that's it, hmm. now reboot, after reboot everything should work fine. So we are just waiting. As it rebooted, so you can see their sound. Mm. And the camera works. Yeah, you can see that the front camera and the back camera. It works too. Oh, these are actually what the bug fixes are for, the 13, I don't know what is it. But you should flush it with the ROM and the gaps, or after that. So yeah, I have the dual SIM version with 520 megabytes RAM, and it supports the both of the SIM, so yeah, that, that's it. So, after that, that's the next part of the video with a review of the ROM. So hi guys, that's Cyanogen mod uh, 12.1 on the HC Desire 310. So that's actually not the stock quencher which you usually get. I changed it to the um, stock HC quencher and I put the Cyanogen, uh, I mean Sense on team. So you actually can install teams on this, so it's a legit Cyanogen mod. Here you can see 5.1.1 will pop. Just let me focus properly. Yep, and that still be alright. So uh, I have the 520 megabytes from version, uh, and on the Antutu benchmark, it scores 
um, 19,000 as you can see so that's actually 5k more than Jelly Bean so it's it has really improved performance so it's really really good performing so we get the camera up working working fine I mean you can take pictures and shit without problems So it supports many languages and many features and it's actually really really well optimized Wi-Fi works, everything works I mean the screen rotation is still fucked up, I will show you Okay, right now it's not fucked up but it usually is Yep, just like that and you still have that white tint on the screen and pretty much all the bugs in the KitKat stock ROM except the um, not working Wi-Fi because here Wi-Fi works and it's actually pretty well optimized and I really love the ROM I will use it as my daily driver let's try some games like Minecraft because I have just, in, just it installed so in the games you can enter full screen mode which is really cool and you can play like that so it's running games without problems which is really cool multitasking is also really good um, battery life is really really good I mean I haven't spent the whole battery because it's running really slow at the point I'm getting bored of it so yeah you get good battery life, good performance, good everything on this um, no matter do you have the 1 gigabyte or the 520 megabyte from versions like me just to show you it's that version Apps, oops, that's my mistake. Apps, yep, here. Oh, you also get the SD card mount to internal storage so you can install apps on the SD card. So, yeah, you can see it's 520 megabytes from version. It's really, really good ROM after all. I, I'm really enjoying using it and it also supports the two SIM cards with so dual SIM, which is nice. So yeah, with this ROM I fairly have no problems since it's smooth and it's nice and on the Wallpop Also, it has radio and radio and everything I'm really really enjoying it right now So, it's installation is quite hard I will write the guide in the description So yeah guys, that's pretty much it um, like and subscribe and bye.